What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again for the next match of round two. Rotner Fresh season for the ages. Turning for the ages, excuse me. Let's look at the bracket. Guys, we've had some great matches go down in round one. We're halfway through round two. It's getting intense. It's getting fun. And looking at the previous matches, we've had four winners so far. We saw Griffin from Men vs. Movies come out on top. Chandler Langley come out on top. In the two newest episodes, Jerome and Russell, we saw Jerome Latimer pull off a big win with 27 points against Russell Howell. And then in the most previous match, Larry from LC Screen Talk versus Jared Buckendall. We had an upset. Jared Buckendall came out on top against Larry. He is also moving on to round two. So the question is, who's going to come out on top in the next few matches? We're going to find out. We got two great guys here, two great competitors. Let's introduce them. You already know who they are. Our first competitor, he put up 22 points in his match against his fellow Broken Army member, Mick Rock. This guy, he's ready for round two. You all know who he is, Ren Geekness. Ren, welcome to round two. Thank you so much for having me back, Ryan. It's the champ that runs the camp. It's the face that runs the place. It's the Alpha and Omega of Rock North Fresh. It's Ren Geekness. I'm here to reach the end of the tournament and kick everybody's ass and just prove that Broken Army will prevail. But thank you so much. I can't wait for this match. And the other opponent, he came up with a nice win, putting up 14 points against Rudy's movie reviews. And he knows his movies too. He works at a movie theater. He loves to talk about film. That is Jeff from Jeffito's Movie Blog. Jeff, welcome to round two. Hey guys, thanks for having me back. I'm really excited for this match. I think I have my work cut out for me based on watching Ren's previous matches. But it's all about having some fun. I did some last minute studying here this morning. So I am ready to rock and put my best foot forward. Guys, the stakes are a lot more real because the winner of this match moves on to round three of the tournament and the loser is eliminated. We love you, but sometimes we have to cut some strings short. Without further ado, let's play Rotten or Fresh. Round one, the free-for-all round, works as follows. You guys are gonna get eight questions in this round and 20 seconds to answer each question. Your goal is to try to guess the Rotten Tomato score for whatever film I give you. Here's the catch. If you get a perfect score in round one, you get two points. If you don't get the perfect score, whoever is the closest without going over gets one point. And write your answers down. This is a write around, guys, so make sure you have something to write with and write on. And once time is up and I call your name, please show your answers to your cameras in front of you and say what you've written down. Round one, question one, guys, comes in the category of sci-fi. Your movie is Attack the Block. Came out in 2011, directed by Joe Cornish, starring John Boyega and Nick Frost. It's how we met John Boyega, guys. Yeah, I haven't seen it. But you gotta see it. Love the I mean, movie, I'm, I'm just not sure of the score. Yeah, I'm jealous that you haven't seen it, but it's fantastic. It You're in for a treat. Five, four, three, <clears throat> two, one, stop. All right, we're gonna start with Ren. Ren, what score do you have? Okay, I have 90%. Okay, and Jeff, what do you have? I put 83%. Okay. Really high scores for Attack the Block right here, but someone is starting off with a perfect score, and that is Ren Geekness. Ren, Ooh. that is the exact score. 90%. So two points to Ren. Wow. Alrighty. Alright, guys, your next category is comedy. Comedy. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Your movie's Porky's. Came out in oh. 1981. Porky's? I haven't Clark. heard people talk about that story in such Kim a long time. Control. Okay, I lost the exit for a sec. Okay. I think it's back. I love picking obscure films sometimes. <laughs> it's not that obscure. <laughs> it was popular back in the day. Five, four, My father loved this film. Three, two, one, stop. <laughs> Jeff, what do you have? I went pretty high. I put 90%. Ren, what do you have? I put pretty low. I went uh, 30% here. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. 
30%. Two completely different scores here, but someone again got the perfect score, and that's Ren. Ren, I don't know how the hell you got that, Ren, but that is correct. Wow. It's 30%. I, so two. Wow. I gotta be honest, I was lucky because my father loved this film. That's interesting. <laughs> Otherwise, oh I would have Jason, no idea. next category is horror. Horror. Pretty oh. Ah, my weakness. Oh. <laughs> Your movie is House on Haunted Hill. Came out in 1999. Directed by oh. William Castle, starring Vincent oh. Price and Carol Olmart. It sucks so bad. I mean, that one, the original is cool. And we got five, four, three, <coughs> Two, I'm sorry. One, stop. <clears throat> Ren, what do you have? 28. And Jeff, what do you have? I went 1% lower, 27. 27, wow. Oh, damn. Look I how love these. Look how close this is. Oh, my goodness. Guys, there's a term we call here called J. Vader, and we have a perfect <sighs> score. Someone got a perfect score in a J. Vader. And that's Ren once again. But Jeff, man, walking around here fresh again, you got Jay Vader. Uh, it's 28%. One goddamn percent. 28. So two more points to Ren Geekness. Wow. All right, our next category is comedy. Haha. Uh -huh. Is it? No, I'm sorry, it's Western. Oh, okay. Guys, that was our fast. Next Going category back to is Westerns. Westerns. Okay. Yeehaw. Woohoo! Your movie is yeah. is the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh come oh. on! Never heard of. Directed come on. by Sergio Leone and starring Clint Eastwood and Lee Van Cleef. Classic. 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 <coughs> I'm, we're not gonna get copyrighted for this. Five. Four, you have ten three, seconds. Two, one, stop. Jeff, what do you have? <coughs> I went eighty-seven. And Ren? I went ninety-seven. Wow, really high scores for this one right here, but someone once again got the perfect score in that who do you think it is? It's Ren Geekness. Ren oh, you kidding me. score, 97%. Four perfect scores Oh, my in a gosh. I, that's unbelievable. So, Ren, you get two more points. Unbelievable. Woo. Guys, let's go to action-adventure for your next category. Action and Good. adventure. I like Good. my action and adventure. An adventure yeah. film. It's Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It came out in Oh, okay, the first one. Directed by Andrew Adamson, starring Liam Neeson and Tilda Swinton. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. I like the second one better. That was a pretty good one. I don't know what the guy has done since. Although. Five, four, ah, three, two, one, stop. All right, Ren, what do you have? Seventy-six percent, sir. And Jeff. 82%. All right, both pretty high scores for this one. They're both close to the score, but someone got a perfect score once again, and that's Ren Geekness. I don't know what... Are you kidding me? Here. Ren, that's two more points. Holy cow. I needed this. My day started off very badly. I needed this. Right, <laughs> next category is animated. Your movie cool. is Chicken Little. Chicken oh, Little which one? Came out 2000, Chicken Little. Came out in 2005. Oh. Directed by Mark Disney's Dinger, worst film. Starring Zach Braff and Joan Cusack. Fucking hate this movie so much. I think we all do. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even need, I didn't even see it in the theaters. As a kid. As a kid, I refused to see it. Five, Imagine that. Four. Three. <laughs> Alright, so I'll start with Jeff. Jeff, what score do you have? I put 47%. And Ren? I put 
37%. Really close scores for this one, but guys, wow. I don't know how. It's run geekness once again. 37%. That is the exact score. <laughs> wow. All right, guys, let's go to the next category. That is romantic comedies. Aww. Your movie is When in Rome. When in Rome. Came out in 2010. Directed by Mark Aww. Steven Johnson. Oh. Starring Kristen Bell and Josh Duhamel. Never seen it. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Whatever. It should suck. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Ren, what do you got? Ten percent. Here. Jeff, what do you have? I went higher than that, I put sixty-four. Alright, both completely different on this one, but someone was so yeah. close. No perfect score here. But Ren, you were the closest to the score. It's 16. Okay. 16. So, ah. one point to Ren. Cool. Your final category, I'm sure you guys <coughs> studied this. It's Ray Fines, the special category. Okay. Your movie is The Reader. Came out in 2008. Directed by Stephen Daldry, starring Kate Winslet and yeah. Ray Fines. Love that film. Never saw it. Me neither. It's underrated. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> Jeff, what do you have? I put 62%. And Ren? It's a Ray Fines category. You're both going to have it. 62%. All right, they definitely both studied Ray Fines because they both got the perfect score of 62%. Ooh, so two points to both Jeff and Ren. That's going to do it for round one. Let's go to round two. Round two is the solo round. It works as follows. Now you guys have the choice to pick two categories of your choice in this round. And once you pick those two categories, you're going to get three questions. Keep in mind that multiple choice is available in round two if you need it. And if you get a perfect score, if you get the question right in round two, you get two points. But if you need multiple choice and you do get it right, the point diminishes to one point. And you're only going to have 15 seconds to answer each question. If you get your question incorrect, your fellow opponent has the opportunity to steal those points from you. And the same point value applies to the stealer. After you choose a category in this round, that category is out for the next round. And this is the speaking round, so you can speak your answers out loud, but you can write your multiple choice if you want to. We are going to start with Jeff in round two. Jeff, since you're behind, you get to pick your first category. So, Jeff, what is that going to be? I need a lot of help uh, going into this round. I'm going to go with the category that's been good to me in the past. I'm going new releases. He is confidently okay. going with new releases. Okay. Nice. Jeff, let's go to new releases. Here's your first question. Jeff, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Gotti? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's low. Anyone seen that? Hey, <laughs> I have not. Uh, I'm going to need multiple choice, please, Ryan. Sure, multiple choice. Is it... <coughs> <clears throat> is it 5%, 10%, 4%, or 0%? I am going to go with 5%. 5% is incorrect. One, one point steal. I'm going to go with 0. <laughs> That's correct. One point steal for Ren. 0. Okay. 0. <laughs> I would have thought at least mm. some critics would have liked it, but apparently not. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, I think critics are the only ones who saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> Jeff, what is the Rotten Tomato score for one of my favorite films this year, Black Klansman? Black yeah, Klansman. baby. Great movie. And it's got a high score. Let's go mid-90s. I'll, I'll go 95. 
I don't know if he knew it, but that is correct! 95 oh. is correct! Two points to Jeff. Jeff, here's your final question. The girl in the spider's web, what's the Rotten Tomatoes oh. for? Billy New Release. Uh, haven't seen it yet. Haven't had a chance to see it yet. Uh, getting mixed reviews. I will go 41. That is correct. 41 is correct. Wow. Two more points to Jeff. <coughs> Great way to end new releases. All right, now we go <coughs> to Ren Geekness. Ren, what's your first category? Ray Fines. Ray Fines. It is. All right, Ren, here's your first question in Ray Fines. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Skyfall? Ah, uh, Skyfall is pretty high. Uh... Hmm... Ren, we're gonna need an answer in five, four, three, two... Ninety-two! One... Ninety-two! That is correct. Two points. Ninety-two is correct. Okay. Yes. Ren? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> yeah. Which of Ray Fine's acted movies is his okay. fifth lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Fifth lowest. Wrath of the Titans? I should have gotten multiple choice. That is incorrect. Wrath of the Titans is incorrect. Yeah. Jeff, this is a two point steal. Uh, I will go Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans is also incorrect. The answer okay. is chromophobia, 31%. Huh. Right. Chromophobia. Okay. Never heard so of it. So now, Ren, here's your final question in Ray Fines. What is the Rotten Tomato okay. score for Cemetery Junction 2010? Multiple choice. <clears throat> is it 50%? 55%, 54%, or 44%. Okay, let me write it down. Four, five. I'm, so, I'm sorry, can I get four, the, the. Three. Do you need the B. choices again? B. Yeah, please. Because uh, we were cutting off. 50, uh -huh. 55, 54, 50. or 44. Five, four, three. 44. Two, one. 44. That is incorrect. Jeff, one point steal. What was the movie again? You were cutting out, Brian. I'm sorry. What was the name of the movie? Hmm. Cemetery Junction, 2010. Okay, and the choices? 50, 55, 54, 44, 5. Uh, Five, four, three, fifty-four. Two. One point steal for Jeff. That is correct. Fifty-four is correct. All right, Jeff. What's your final category gonna be? Uh, let's see. Let's go with animated. All right, oh. animated movies for Jeff. Animated. <sighs> Jeff, first question in animated. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for The Fox and the Hound, 1981? Ooh. I need multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it 85%? 73%? 81%? Or 79%. 81? 81 is incorrect. Run one point steal. Can you tell me the movie and then the choice again? Because you were cutting. The movie is The Fox and the Hound. And the choices oh, okay. are 85, 73, 81, 79. 
I'm gonna go with... 73. One point steal for Ren, that is correct. 73 is correct. Jeff, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Flushed Away 2006? Multiple choice. Underrated. 68, 57, 74, or 70? I'll go 74. <coughs> that is correct. One point for Jeff. Jeff, which film in the Madagascar franchise is the only one with the certified fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes? Ooh. We need the full title. Full title. Uh, I'm gonna go the second one. Madagascar Escape to Africa. Madagascar Escape to Africa is incorrect. One, two point steal. Is it my turn? Did he get it wrong? Yeah, you got it wrong. We need the full title, Ren. Two point steal. Uh, Madagascar 3. Europe's most. Most wanted? Is that the name? Yeah. That's correct, yeah. Ren. Two point steal. 79%. 79. Alright, it's Ren, the best one, so it makes category. sense. Comic book movies! I lost my headphone. Of course. Comic book movies and graphic novels for Ren. Ren, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for X Men First Class? Oh, is it? Um, uh, 79? 5, 4, 79, 79. is incorrect. Well, uh. Jeff, this is a two point steal. Oh. Gosh. Um, and I don't get multiple choice. No multiple choice. Not gonna give you that uh, chance, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I would go 81. 81 is incorrect. Jeff, you were close. 86%. Ooh. 86. Yeah. Alright. Mm. Ren, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? Oh, Scott Pilgrim. People love that film. I don't. Um. Five, four, three, two, one. Eighty. We need an answer. I should have gotten no spot choice. Stupid. Eighty is incorrect. Eighty is incorrect. Eighty is incorrect. Jeff, two point steal. Ah. Uh, let's go a little higher. Let's go eighty-six. Eighty-six is also incorrect. Ren, you got Jay Vader. Eighty-one percent. 81. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Ren, here's your final question. What is okay. the Rotten Tomatoes score for Judge Dredd, 1995? Oh my god. Ah, uh, uh, that one. 17. I don't know if he knew that, but that is correct. 17 wow. is correct. Two points to Ren. That's gonna do it for round two. Let's figure, let's look at the scores. Okay guys, so at the end of round two, Ren has a big lead of 23 points and Jeff only has eight points, but round three, Jeff still has a chance, so we're going to the list in round. Here's how the list in round works. You guys are gonna have 60 seconds, one minute, to write down as many movies as you can. This question is to do with an actor or an actress either fresh or rotten movies. And you're gonna have 60 seconds to write down as many movies you can think of with that actor or actress. And once the time is up, you're gonna show your answers and reveal them. And when you reveal your answers, guys, reveal them one by one so I can see if the movie's on there. And if it is, you get a point. Here's yeah. the question for round three. List as many films as you can, 60% and below. On Rotten Tomatoes. Below. 60 and below. 60 below. Featuring the mm -hmm. actor. 
Jack Nicholson. Time starts now. Oh. Ah. <clears throat> Jack Nicholson, one of the greatest actors. There's only 15 movies, so Jeff still has a shot. 15 movies that they can think of within a minute. Ren has 23, Jeff has 8. So Jeff has to have a great round 3 here. <clears throat> and we're coming up soon to the 30 second mark. Thirty. Thirty seconds left. Wow. Oh my god. I just... <laughs> you guys will see. And we got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's time. Time. Pens down, stop. Good. Okay. Alright, All right, we're gonna start with Jeff. Jeff, please list off your movies one by one. Congratulations, <coughs> Ben. Um, I cannot think of hardly any Jack Nicholson films at all. I put <coughs> Jack Frost, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and The Shining. None of those movies were on there, Jeff, unfortunately. So that is no points to Jeff. So sorry, Jeff. But no points. So now we go to Ren. Ren, please list your movies off one by one, please. Okay, so... I have... How Do You Know? How Do You Know? Yep, that's on there. I have... The Bucket List. Yeah, that is on there. Just showing the audience. I have... Okay, this is why I left. Because I put anger management, but I put it as one word for some fucking reason because of the rush. <laughs> yeah, that's all, man. But anger management is there. Um, I put in the evening star. Wait. The evening star. Wait, hang on. Here. Yeah. The evening star. Yeah, and um, I put in... Hoffa, H-O-F-F-A. Nobody else knows this film. Only I do. Uh, Hoffa, yeah. Let me show you. I forget. Yeah. Here. And I was writing Man Trouble when you said stuff. I only write. I only wrote at time to write in Man Trub. So it's up to you if you want to count it or not. Totally fair. Yeah, I won't count that. Wait, okay. So Ren, can you show your list one more time? Just like show it to the camera. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is six points to run. Six points. All right, let's go through the movies, guys, because this is a lot of fun that you miss. So The Terror, The Haunting, yeah. The Castle of Terror. That's three titles, 36%. For one movie. That's yeah. one movie. Okay. Hell's Angels on Jesus Wheels, Christ. 29%. The Trip, 31%. <sighs> the Fortune, 20%. The Last Tycoon, 44%. Terror in the Isles, 57%. Heartburn, 47%. Man Trouble, 7%. Hoffa, 54%. Wolf, 60%. The Evening Star, 22%. Mars Attacks, 52%. Anger Management, 43%. The Bucket List, 40%. And How Do You Know, 32%. And that does it here. We have a TKO. Ren Geekness is the winner with 29 points. Congratulations, Ren. You are moving on to round three. Jeff, I'm so sorry, man, but you have been eliminated. Jeff, it was great to have you on this tournament, man. You definitely study a lot. Jeff, give us your final overall thoughts. I knew it was going to be a tough round. I just did not expect it to be this tough. Uh, my hat's off to Ren. I mean... He did fantastic, especially in the first round, getting all those all those perfect scores in the first round that really did me in, really put me up behind the eight ball. But congratulations, Ben. You are a champ. You guys can find me here on YouTube at Jafito's Movie Blog, where I do movie news, movie reviews, I talk box office. I just love talking films and talking movies with fellow movie fans online here. Check, come over to my channel, check it out. All right, and Ren putting up 29 points. 
Ryan, give us your final overall thoughts. Uh, well, this was a, a load of fun as always. I, I just love competing in Runner Fresh and talking about films with you guys and whoever I'm competing against. Jeff was awesome. He's a great competitor. I look forward to competing against him or with him side by side uh, one day. And I look forward to the matches in the future because now it's getting tough. Now we're getting like the 20 high points for everyone, so the competition is about to stiff even more. You guys can find me at Ren Geekness everywhere online, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and stalk me on there on social media and not on the street. On my YouTube channel I do movie reviews, just talk about movies and TV shows. Sometimes we do spoiler live reviews so you can guys send me all the questions directly and I can answer them directly. And we just have tons of fun talking about the stuff we love. Alright, now guys, this was a fun match. Let us know down below your thoughts and opinions down below. Who did you have winning? And yeah, it's going to be great. And that does it for this match, guys.